This is the pendant. It is used for the main operations of starting and stopping the Armon robot. To power the system on, press and hold the power button until the light begins to blink. If the system does not start up, twist and pull up on the emergency stop button, as I will show later. Now, on the monitor, this screen should show up. Begin by clicking the three lines at the top left. Then, click the Login button. When it asks for a password, leave it blank. Click OK. Below the virtual robot, the Get Control button will pop up. Click it. After you get control, click the M slash A button on the pendant to switch to manual mode. After all of that, setup should be complete. From there, click the three lines in the top left again and click Project to begin a project. At the top left, there are three buttons. The first is to start a new project. The second is to save an existing project, and the third is to enter an existing project. We will start a new project. As you can see, this is where you'll begin programming your Omron's actions. We will start with learning the movements. These are the free and point buttons on the head of the Omron. Press the free button to move the Omron freely, yet try to do so carefully. Click the point button to program a point for the Omron to move to on your screen. I will show you more examples of this in a moment. Another button you may need in case anything goes wrong is the emergency stop button. Just click it and everything will stop moving. To reset it, twist it clockwise and pull it up. You will need to do this to begin your project again. Now for this explanation, we're using the gripper end effector. An end effector can consist of drills, welders, lasers, and more. To begin, we must first activate the gripper. To do that, we scroll to the bottom of the tools panel and pick this tool with the circle pointing to the lightning bolt and drag it to your project. The circle pointing to the number one tool is for closing the gripper. I'm using this for my project. Now, to get the robot to move after it closes the gripper, I will set up a point. Make sure you click on the block you want the point to be after. As you can see, a point shows up on your project, connected to the output of the detected block. Now, I will connect a point from the output of the not detected block to the input of my point. We do this so that even if the robot does not detect anything, it will continue to move. Now, I will add a circle pointing to the number 2, which is the open gripper command. I will now add another point for after the open gripper block. I will connect the not detected block to my point again. When you want to run your project, click the Start button on the pendant. If you want to speed it up, click the plus button on the pendant. And if you want to slow it down, click the minus. This is my complete project. Finally, if you want to end the running process and go back to editing, click the red square on the pendant. Now these are all the basics you need to know for now. Have fun!